So you just want to make beautiful curvy elvish designs. Not a problem. DT just means smoothness. The higher the value, the more choppy the effect will be. The higher the spawn rate factor, the more particles get created. Speed is how long the particle takes to get from the camera to the object. The higher the spread, the more space between each particle. The more turbulence power you have, the less straight the lines become. And the more turbulence scale, the more the lines start to wave back and forth. The more turbulence, the more messy the designs will get. The more control spawn, the more clustered and the more number of spawns get drawn. If you lower detect overlap, the designs will overlap like crazy. The higher the fade, the more the ends of the designs will fade out. As usual, I don't really mess with the normal factor. Normally, the particle designs are just dots, but when you increase the speed, the designs get longer. The closer speed turn is to zero, the less curvy the designs will get. The higher the power spiral, the bigger loops you will make. The less random, the more unpredictable the angle of the designs get. The higher scale turbulence changes the degree of the turbulence waves. And when infinity is set to one, you get these really cool looking S-hook designs. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.